It's October 17th, and this is the budget brief from the National Priorities Project. I'm Mattia Kramer, Senior Research Analyst. Last week, the Nobel Prize in Economics was awarded to two Americans for their work having spent decades trying to figure out how government actions affect the economy. Their work tried to focus on demand instead of on supply as the cause of a recession. What does that mean, you ask? Maybe you've heard the term supply-side economics. That's generally the philosophy that government should give tax cuts on investment profits in order to spur more business activity. Now, critics of that philosophy say it's just an excuse to give tax cuts to the wealthy. The guys who just won the Nobel Prize in economics put emphasis more on demand and less on supply to try to understand the cause of recessions. Now that means that regular people like you and me not having enough money to do the things we regularly do and buy the things we regularly buy could be the cause of a, of a recession. And that would mean that the government should do things to help regular people instead of helping investors. Now coincidentally, another thing that happened last week was the Senate voted on President Obama's jobs bill. Now that's a bill that would spend money on infrastructure to create construction jobs. It would send money to states to protect teacher jobs and firefighters and police officers. Uh, and it would also include some tax cuts. But the Senate voted that bill down. Now this might be a little confusing because at the same time we're hearing about a jobs bill to spend money to help the economy, we're also hearing about the super committee and how it's supposed to urgently cut deficits, urgently cut spending or raise taxes. So what are we supposed to think? Should the government be, government be spending more money to help the economy, or should it be cutting spending to reduce deficits? Well, most economists actually agree that the jobs bill is the kind of stimulus that the economy needs right now, in the short term, to help get us out of this recession. Economists also agree, however, that in the long term, the government should balance its books. So there you go. Right now, for the short term, while we're in this recession, we want the government to spend money to help the weak economy. And once we're in better economic times, we want the government to balance the budget. Thank you, and join us next week for a sneak peek into the Super Committee.